everyone, I welcome to part 36 of Laravel 10 series in which we are getting the admin panel first of all and we are working now uh, for the e-commerce admin panel and we will continue working on the categories module in which we are going to add the active, inactive and delete functionality for the categories in this video. Okay, then let's start. Uh, here we have uh, shown the uh, all the categories we able to display in the admin panel in the last video you can see that we have added it in the data table and now we are going to add here the actions we are going to add here the active inactive and we will add the delete okay but here first of all we are going to add at the left sidebar as well and i'm going to show you the cms pages as well uh, in which we have already added the active inactive and delete functionality uh, add edit uh, see add add category as well as the edit we will work on in the next video but in this video we are going to add work for the active and active as well as the delete functionality okay uh, so first of all we will add at the left sidebar so uh, let's close all the files here okay so now i'm going to open the uh, first of all sidebar sidebar.blade.php file and here i am going to add the categories module but here i want to uh, see i want to add this categories uh, this uh, heading okay like we can add the catalogs okay catalog or catalogs in in that we we can able to add the categories here also we can add the pages like the pages management or something okay uh, so let's add something similar to the settings i'm going to see that how we have added the setting okay uh, like settings okay so i'm going to copy this one uh, li and uh, okay so after that ul okay so this complete i'm going to add for the settings and let's see let's complete we are going to add here and this one uh, we will add after cms pages uh, so i'm going to close this one li and here also li i'm going to close and then i'm going to add here the another ally after this one so let's add this one okay uh, now i can make the changes here like catalog i can add here the catalogs okay so see this active inactive we can add later on uh, or uh, see uh, what we have done there we can see after dashboard settings here okay so in the same way we can just simply copy this one and here we can able to add it like this and here we are going to add the categories module and here we are going to add for the flux module as well that we will add later on in the series okay so only that the categories will get selected and here once again we are going to show here the categories and here admin categories we are going to show the categories here show it like this categories so here we are going to show the products or some other module that will come and here we are going to show the products we are going to check here okay now fine now we able to see the categories and we able to select the catalogs as well okay for the catalogs we can show some other icon uh, okay so for this one uh, we can add uh, some other like uh, I, I don't know that whether it will work or not no it is not working okay uh, uh, okay so catalog here I think this one uh, tachometer this one is uh, font and some class I think 
uh, F A we can make it uh, some other or we can search uh, in our template as well in which we have uh, we able to see all those I'm going to check in our template in our e-commerce template admin LTE e-commerce template okay so we can open open it like index index to so from here we can copy like uh, this one for the catalogs we can open we can show this one like okay now icon fa fa fth we can make this change and we'll see like if it will work or not i'm not sure so it is working fine you can see okay catalogs and catalogs get selected and the categories get selected for the category rule so let's add here the actions okay so uh, i'm going to close this one and we'll open the categories uh, as well as the uh, that CMS pages module as well that will help us uh, and uh, we can quickly uh, end up our task okay uh, I'm going to open the CMS underscore pages dot blade dot PHP file and I'm going to copy here uh, for this status okay uh, here I can copy for the status and as well as uh, for the delete functionality as well that we have added the common delete functionality for all the modules okay so that also we are going to add now here we are going to update the class uh, with the update category uh, status here we are going to uh, have the update category status okay so after this we are going to update here the page as well and we are going to uh, will uh, here show the category instead of page we will add here the category and here we can simply show the delete category okay uh, so name is not required at all we can remove okay so here in record only the category will go and here the category id will go okay so now uh, here uh, with update category status we are sending the category id as well both in id as well as the category underscore id uh, and uh see this is the active and inactive classes we have used okay so here as well we will uh, show here the category as well okay and uh, we can search for like page is not there in any of the module right now okay so now in custom.js we are going to add uh, for that uh, the uh, we can able to update the status so i'm going to copy this one that we have added a few videos back for updating the cms pages and same we are going to do for the category status update category status okay so we are going to replace it with the update category status on the click of this uh, uh, we are going to update the status uh, as well as the uh, see we are going to pass the category id by which we are going to update the uh, status of that category uh, like if the category is active we can make it inactive if the category is uh, inactive we will make it active okay so here also we are going to make the category okay category like this okay so now we are going to create uh, the uh, for updating the uh, status we are going to create its route as well as we're going to create the function okay so i'm going to add its route in web.php file both for delete as well as for the updating the status okay so the, these are the route that we have added for the cms pages that i'm going to add for the category module as well uh, update category status okay so uh, we're going to create the uh, function like update i'm going to make it like the update category status see earlier on uh, we have done the crud functionality so that's why uh, we have got the automatic function in the cms controller okay 
like I'm going to show you like CMS controller uh, we got all the functions auto automatically get created like these uh, index create store show edit uh, okay update destroy all these function automatically created with the help of the resource controller and we have used the crud uh, but and the same thing we are going uh, we, are, we are doing right now but with our custom function names okay so you can always update the function name as per your own choice in that we have just keep it uh, for the sake of completing the series for for the knowledge sake so 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 that you can able to know that we can also use the same function provided by the laravel but we can update also we can update to our custom function we can do uh, as per our own requirement okay so now uh, we are going to update the status so we can copy this function that will really help us will save our time okay so we can just paste and here uh, we will just modify the function name like i have just suggested you that we can do our custom functionality as well custom functions as well function name we can update okay so here instead of cms page uh, we are going to update in our category model like this and instead of page id it will be category id okay category underscore id now uh, i think we can able to update the status of the category we can uh, see here refresh here and all the categories are active right now you can see the one uh, for all the categories okay status is one so i'm going to make one of the categories inactive let's see so some error has come i'm going to see what error exactly in our console uh, we can check i will uh, now click on uh, inactive uh, going to make inactive and we'll see okay so uh, see update cms can be status so the f the route name is incorrect okay so we need to go in the categories module once again we will check here that what is the issue exactly uh, update category status so that is fine i'm going to copy once again and we'll paste here so that is also fine status okay so make sure that other things are also correct there is nothing must be uh, like okay so here we need to remove this one update category status now it seems to be fine okay so i am going to try once again we'll click on like this and we'll see if there is uh, okay so we need to refresh the page now we will try once again so let's see i'm going to make the status inactive and we'll see uh, okay so this time it in inactive without giving any error i'm going to make it inactive as well so I'm going to refresh here whether uh, this inactive is uh, real. Yes, without any error, we able to make two of the categories inactive. Let's see if it is zero right now. Yes, it is zero. So it is working fine. Now we are going to make them active once again. Okay. Uh, so inactive, active, it is working instantly with the help of our checks. Okay. So now once again, we have made all the categories active. Okay. So working fine active inactive is working for him anytime you can uh, make any category disable okay so now we're going to work on the delete functionality uh, okay so for the delete functionality uh, we will copy once again this destroy function that is for the delete category we can use it for the delete category as well okay so here i'm going to copy its function name as well and uh, still we don't have any uh, route for it i'm going to uh, copy uh, this uh, route any route i can copy i can uh, copy from the uh, from that route and now we are going to delete the category as well and in the category controller we are going to uh, create one function uh, here delete category function of okay, it delete category like this and this function we are going to add uh, inside the uh here in category controller so this function name we are going to keep uh here and we're going to remove uh, the category here uh, with the id okay and here we're going to show category deleted successfully okay so let's see now let's refresh and we're going to check whether we able to delete any of the category or not and see i'm going to delete i'm going to delete this last one kids category let's see so our sweet alert is working fine that we have added commonly for all the modules so that we will uh, we are not required to work on it again and again we are not required to waste any time 
so right now i'm going to make it cancel so it is working fine okay if the mood change like we are uh, don't want to create the category so it is uh, at that time we can just uh, can click on cancel or by mistake if the admin clicks on delete by mistake then it is asking are you sure if the admin say no no i don't want to delete then he can click on cancel okay so if he is sure to delete then he can click on yes delete it so let's see uh lead so your file has been littered and let's see the category litter stressfully so it is working fine we able to lead that sixth category that the kids category we able to lead okay so here also you can see that we able to lead that kids category at last okay so once again uh we can add here uh, the kids category uh, okay uh so we this time i'm going to uh, add the categories from the php my admin okay uh here i'm going to add it the kids category okay uh, and it's uh, uh, parent id is one okay so click on go so the kids category gets created once again and make sure that next id is seven yes it, it will be fine and now we can see the kids category come back again okay so both uh, active inactive as well as the delete functionality is working for the categories so in the next video uh, we will continue further we are going to add the new category and we'll work on the edit as well and after that uh, we are going to work on the categories rows and permissions okay add edit remove okay so that thing also we're going to do so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye